This is Will Christensen here with Automation Hunter, and I have a guest today. This is Josh Topham. That's right. Josh okay. is currently working as a product manager at uh, RoundSphere, uh, more product developer than product manager, I guess, because he's constantly working on brand new products. And we came up against a problem today where he wanted to go create a new Miro account because he's got a new product, right? So new Miro account, new product, that's fair, right? You should create a new product. But he doesn't have an email address for this product yet. In fact, all we've got is a, we've got a domain name for one of them and for the other product, we don't even have a domain name yet. We have a name for it, but he needs a new Miro account so that he can actually start doing some brainstorming. We can learn a little bit about where this process is going. Um, he was like, well, I, I can't create a new account. So Josh, go ahead and share your screen here. And we're going to go over this use case and show you how you can create a unique email address for free with a Gmail account. Um, so uh, this is a quick automation hack. I do it all the time um, to basically get around the need to have a unique email address. Um, so, you know, creating a new email address is about, takes about two seconds. So go ahead and share your screen there, Josh, and we'll dive in. Okay, so uh, Josh, as you can see here, has his Miro uh, account set up and it is connected to his at shared2fa.com um, address. And um, we want to make another one. So if you're gonna make another team, you can see that Miro actually says, okay, yeah, you wanna make another team? No problem. And so we get here and we're like, all right, so my new team name, um, you can see that it's gonna ask me to take a subscription there, but we're gonna try it anyway. Um, we have a, a product that we're calling MySQL to Sheets. It's a plugin that can, takes uh, MySQL databases and puts them into a Google spreadsheet. Um, we're gonna go here. Oh, wah, wah. Um, it'll give me a free trial. Interesting. And uh, now that I have this free trial, it's gonna give me uh, five members, flexible payments. Well, I might, this is actually new. They, they weren't even letting you do a free trial of this. They were literally just forcing you to choose um, th this piece before. So in, in the future, later, we're gonna have to try this free trial. I bet you, you know what though? Yeah, it wants my credit card information. Not a chance am I giving you my credit card information because I'm gonna forget if I give you my credit card information. That's just the nature of the, of the beast, right? So um, I'm not gonna put in uh, my credit card information here because they for sure are going to make sure to charge me and then I'd have to go cancel it. So if I don't wanna do that, I only have one other option. I have to go start up a new email address or I can do this trick. So if I go to Miro.com <clears throat> and it's gonna redirect me here to the signup page and I'm gonna say this is Josh again. Hello, uh, dear friends at Miro. And um, now for the work email address, this is where it gets exciting. If I type Josh plus, and then I can put anything I want in here at shared2fa.com. So this will actually work as an email address. You can see it ends in a .com, has the whole bit, and they're also not gonna stop us from creating it because it's a unique email address. I can make this be literally anything I want. So in this situation, I'm gonna do my SQL to sheets, okay? And then here, Josh is gonna type in his super secret password. Yeah. So go ahead and type in your super secret password there. And then that name, the last name should be just AM at the end. Oh, shoot, man. I totally, I'm glad you, that, that would have bothered. Oh, I totally missed it up again. What did I do wrong? There we go. All right, so on stage, totally screwed that up. It's okay. Um, so here we go, we're gonna hit agree, and we're gonna say get started now. And voila, it's asking us to go get a code. So we can easily do that. We're gonna drag this over here, jump over to the Gmail account, and you can see here's the confirmation code. So something I wanna point out here, you can see right here, it actually does have Josh plus. So if I wanted to, I could make it so these forward to a different email address using a filter. I could make, I could do all sorts of different stuff. I actually have my, my personal account. I have will plus spam at, um, at gmail.com essentially, like at my personal email address. And I make it so that those automatically get deleted. Like I know that I gave my email address away to somebody that I never want to hear from ever. 
and I just make it so they automatically go straight to trash. And so I can make a way that when I give my email address out to someone, I can choose how it gets handled at the time of giving that, in, that email address, okay? So really, really powerful tool in terms of email addresses. Um, now I'm gonna flip back over. So really, really powerful tool. Um, now I'm gonna flip back over and you can see I can throw in this uh, code here. Bada boom, bada bing. I have my new Miro account. Well, that's only good if you actually invite yourself back to the account. So in a second here, we're gonna actually log in, go to the right spot, and we're going to share this team with the old account, and then it'll show up in Josh's list, and he'll be able to share boards back and forth, and for this new product, we have it. And I don't feel bad about doing that at all. I don't feel like I'm cheating Miro, because I'm gonna invite new and different people to get inside Miro and introduce it to new people. Like if I got a freelancer who's working on this product, I don't have any problem with sharing this drive with him and that's gonna introduce someone new to Miro. So I'm doing their work for them by evangelizing the product and that's why I feel totally good about getting in there and connecting those dots. So um, if you ever have that problem, I'm gonna stop the screen share here if you would. Oh, I did it. There we go. So if you ever have that problem, you're trying to figure out how to find that unique email address, you don't want a new email address, add a plus sign to the end before the at symbol, you've got a new email address. And that's it.